Welcome everybody to the final Mark No Free Head Coaches Show of the Year with the regular season finale upon us on Saturday. We're with the head coach of the Pioneers, Mark No Free, for the final time this season. But before we look forward, let's look back at a real character victory over Bryant. I know you were so proud of that one. How much did you enjoy that one? And what does it say about your team to go out there and take care of business against a very tough Bryant team trying to make the playoffs? Yeah, you know, uh, let me tell you something. I'm very, very proud of these kids and what they were able to accomplish. Um, if you look at where we are at this time of the season, you know, we had a lot of kids out. We had a lot of different people playing in different positions, but they fought and played so hard. Um, you know, you're down 10 nothing against a team that's playing for an NAC championship at home. It was cold, it was windy, but I'll tell you what, our kids hung in there, they fought, and, and they made plays when it counted, and they just, they didn't give up, and that's what, after the game, that's what we talked about, you know, they grinded out that win, and they played so hard, and I was so proud of them uh, to go on the road, and it's cold, they're playing for something, we're playing for a winning record, but to beat them, you know, on their senior day was outstanding, I think it was just an all-around great effort by our guys. The defense has been so tested this year but on Saturday six takeaways from six different guys including an outstanding interception from Mustafa Noibi in the end zone taking the ball away from the receiver and I love this one to end the game a fumble strip by Moses <laughs> Webb and a fumble recovery by Tyler Doobie on defense yes how about that that was great you know we talk about team effort and uh, all hands on deck um, we're not afraid to play kids in, in certain positions in both ways on both sides of the ball and if it means us winning the game um, we got to do what we got to do. And, you know, at the end of the game, I know the last few games, Moses has been playing double duty for us. Uh, we really haven't used Tyler in that situation. But, uh, you know, on that last drive, we needed uh, we needed some help in the back end and, and someone that could uh, go after the ball. And um, Coach Cook said to Coach Wiss, you know, what about putting Doobie in the corner? And uh, Coach Wiss said, yeah, I'm fine with it. And Coach Cook was schooling him up. We put him on our closest sidelines so we could tell him what to do and what the plays were. We put Moses on the other side because he had had at least three games of experience at corner. And, uh, you know, the play before that, you know, Tyler is uh, going one-on-one -on -one with their receiver and gets a pass interference, an offensive pass interference as he's going for um, the interception. So, uh, again, two great kids I couldn't be more proud of and, and happy for. Both seniors uh, have done a lot for our program. And, uh, again, like I said, it's, when you talk about a total team effort, right there was a total team effort. So that was creative and something we hadn't seen, but what we've seen many times we saw in the final scoring drive, a vintage Sacred Heart offense drive led by RJ Noel with big third down catches from Jackson King and Moses Webb. How were they able to put that drive together? Well, you know, they, it, they stepped up when it counted. I mean, we needed a drive there, and I think there was 10 minutes on the clock um, when they got the ball, and they went, you know, 68, 70 yards and ran six minutes off the clock. Um, and you convert, you know, not only did you get it down to the red zone and kick a field goal, but they converted to a touchdown. Uh, like I said, RJ was instrumental in that, and uh, he had two huge runs. Uh, Moses Webb had a big third down catch. Jackson King had a big third down catch as well. Um, and it's, again, they got it clicking. They started believing in themselves. They played with confidence. Um, we settled down after the first quarter. And uh, once we got the thing going in the right direction, and it, it's really great to sit there on the sidelines and see the offense pull for the defense, defense pull for the offense, and to use guys on offense and defense um, both ways. was It's just a tremendous feeling and a great team effort, and I couldn't be happier or more proud of these kids and what they accomplished on Saturday. So you have Wagner in the regular season finale. They defeated <clears throat> CCSU last weekend. Talk about them. Maybe a deceptive record. They're going to come in hungry. Sure. Uh, I mean, they're very good athletically. You know, they got some guys that are pretty good. Um, their back end is very good and athletic. They got a very good running back. Um, they've always had good defensive linemen. They're big up front on the offensive line. And, uh, yeah, their record is deceiving. Uh, you know, they gave us all we could handle last year, and we pulled one out. And uh, don't forget, they played two 1A schools this year. So um, they're battle-tested. They played some tough teams. And uh, they're young at certain spots, but I think they're pretty good. I mean, they got talent. I like the quarterback. You know, he's a dual threat. He runs around. Um, last week he had a huge run. Uh, for a touchdown and uh, like I said the running backs are good and defensively they got some athletes so our kids again we need to finish the season strong I talked about it all the time um, that we're still playing for a winning record but we need to continue to play hard play th for 11 straight games come out ready to go it's all hands on deck and uh, who knows you may see some more guys on offense and defense and it is senior day this class has known so much success being part of the two championships and potentially a winning season with a victory on Saturday. What do they mean to you? What do they mean to this program? Well, I, obviously, you know, they've been here for four years and uh, their first year that we, you know, we struggled. It was a two and nine season and uh, things weren't looking good, but I am extremely proud that they were able to stick it out. You know, some kids at times would 
jump ship or think about transferring or going somewhere else, but no, not these kids. They stayed with the program. They believed in the coaches. We believed in them. They put their nose to the grindstone. They got it turned around. They've had two NEC championships their sophomore and junior year. This year is a chance for them to go out again for three consecutive winning seasons, which we haven't done since 2004. So um, I'm extremely proud of them and what they've been able to accomplish. I'm uh, extremely proud of who they are and what they've turned out to be in terms of student athletes. And I couldn't be happier for them and I'll be sad to see them go. Uh, I wish some of them could stick around longer, but I, that's what it is in college. You get four years and you got to move on, but I think they're going to leave with a great taste in their mouth and hopefully another winning season. And finally, with that opportunity for a winning season with a victory on Saturday, what would that mean to everybody and this program? Well, it keeps you, you know, your motivation going too for the off season. You end on a good note going into the off season. You talk about, you know, your goal every year is to have a winning season. And we talk to the kids, it's hard to win a college football game. Things have to go your way, you know, and, um, it's a fight. Every week's a fight. You know, no matter what your record is, whether you're 11 and 0 or uh, 6 and 5, it's still a winning season. You got to fight for each win, and it'll mean a lot to us, the kids that are coming back in the program. I think it'll mean a lot to the seniors to go out with a great taste in their mouth and on a winning note, and uh, it gets us a springboard in the next season. Thanks a lot, Coach, for the time. As always, this whole season, it's been a lot of fun covering you and uh, spending this time with you. And got a lot of reasons to be proud. So good luck Saturday. Thank you. Mark Nofrey, head coach of the Sacred Heart Pioneers. Going for that winning season on Senior Day. Ceremonies for the seniors begin at 1140. Kickoff is at noon. Hope you can be there.